Taming Apple Notes with Shortcuts. I've always loved the idea of having important information readily available on my iPhone, but I've struggled finding the right application to handle that job. Apple Notes now has a bunch of great features, but organizing those notes has always been a challenge for me. Then I discovered how I can use shortcuts to make notes a truly powerful tool for content entry and quick retrieval. So let's get started. Let me show you a few examples of how I use shortcuts with notes. This one lets me make journal entries into a journaling folder. This one lets me speak journal entries. And this is a Siri command that summons that spoken shortcut. This one shows me my journal's folder. And this one lets me search my journal folder for specific terms. These two are for my reference library. This one shows my whole library. And this one shows a specific note inside the library. Now Apple just released something called Quick Notes. It's an easy way to quickly enter a note from your desktop machine, laptop, or an iPad. Unfortunately, there's no support on iPhone. So I made this shortcut to open Quick Notes with one tap. Let's get started by adding a couple of folders to Notes. Let's click on our Notes application. Click on the folders up here to get back up to the folder main window. Let's go down here to the lower left and add an iCloud folder. We'll do a new folder and for the name of it, let's call it My Journal. There we have it. Now let's do that again and we'll name this one My Journal Search Results. Now we have our two folders that we'll use within our shortcuts. And they're really the key to making all of this work because we'll put all of our journal notes in this folder. So they're all in one place and can be easily retrieved with the shortcut. And then when we do search, similarly, we put all the search results as notes in this folder. Before we get started building shortcuts, let's take a moment to build a favorites list. This will be a list of the commands we use to build each of these shortcuts. So we'll go into the shortcuts app and the main folders page. Let's add a folder and let's call it temp. Click and add. We'll open that folder. We'll add our first shortcut. We will just really use this as a way to build this favorites list. So the first thing we'll do is come down here and we'll search for Create Note. There it is. Click on the info circle. We'll add it as a favorite. Close that and clean out our search. Let's go to the next one, which is Ask for Input. Here it is. Add to the favorites and close out. Clear our search. The next one we want is append to note. Here it is. Next, show note. Okay. Next, stop running shortcut. Next, is dictate text. Here we are. Okay, close that. Next is run shortcut. Next is show folder. We're getting there. Next is find notes. Here we are. Now for the if statement. And last but certainly not least, alert. Okay, there we go. So now when we click on favorites, we have all of our commands. But let's do a little housekeeping. We'll go back to this temp folder and we'll delete it since we don't need it any longer. Okay now, let's create our first shortcut. 
Let's open the Shortcuts app. Go to the main folder. Let's add a folder. Let's call it My Journal. This will be where all of our shortcuts for journaling will be stored. I'm going to move it up to the top just for convenience. I'm going to click on it to open it. We'll add our first shortcut. Our first shortcut will be to perform a journal entry. So let's just name this one My Journal as well. Now let's change our little icon. I'm going to make all of my journaling shortcuts green and I'm going to select the appropriate glyph. That's a good one. Okay, we're ready to add our first action. Let's choose from our favorites list that we just built. And we'll pick Create Note. Then we need to add a prompt here, which is the actual name of this note. So, let's call it you guessed it, My Journal. Now let's follow that with something that makes it unique. Let's use the current day, which also includes the time. This is a little pop-up menu that lets us set the format. I'm good with that, so close it. We're on our way. Let's click this little Twizzler and it will let us close the Show Compose Sheet option. And that exposes a folder option. So we can go back and choose from our Notes folder that we built earlier. The My Journal folder that we just created is OK. So we're going to create a note. It's going to be called My Journal with a date and time stamp and we're going to put it in the notes folder called my journal. Next we need to ask for some input so we will go back to our favorites and we'll ask for input. We're going to ask for text and we can add a little prompt. I'm just gonna say enter journal. Okay so we've created the note. We've asked for text. Now let's append this text to the note. append to note. So that applies the provided input to the note. But it doesn't really specify which note. So let's click on this. Apple provides this magic variable tool. Let's use that. And it shows us the options. And there's a note we just created. So let's choose that. Okay. Now that we've created a note, we've entered text, we've appended it to that note. It's time to show the note. It assumed our appended note, which is correct. So now, let's just go ahead and stop the shortcut, which I don't think you really need, but it's just a creature of habit in me, I suppose. All right, let's run it, see if it works. Click that little play icon in the bottom right, and that brings up our text box. I'm gonna input, this is my first journal entry. Click done, and it shows us the note. We see that it's in the My Journal folder. We see the name is My Journal with the date and time stamp. And then we see the actual content of the note. So let's go ahead and go back to shortcuts. Let's click on this option circle. We want to add the shortcut to our home screen so we can quickly access it. We can make any changes here. We may just want to say oh something like journal entry or whatever you'd like. Let's add that. And now we see that it's on our home screen. Okay, now let's add a shortcut 
that allows us to speak a journal entry. So we go back to our shortcuts. Make sure we are in our My Journal folder. Let's go ahead and duplicate this one. Just tap and hold and then we'll say duplicate. The duplicate is My Journal 1. Tap on the More Options circle. Let's start out by renaming this. I'll call it Speak Journal. Okay, let's change this glyph. How about this microphone? All right, done. Let's go to our favorites list and find Dictate Text. And then let's go ahead and drag it up right underneath the Create Note. Now let's delete the Ask for Text. We don't need that anymore. And we see that the provided input turns red here because there's no text input. So let's select that, clear it out. Now we need to know what we're going to append. So let's click here and select dictated text. Okay. Let's go ahead and come back to here and change this stop listening to on tap that works better at least for me let's give it a try hi this is my second journal entry and i'm doing this by speaking okay we're getting a security challenge because we're accessing the microphone i'll just click always allow and there we are. It's in the right folder. It's the right name, the date and time stamp, and there's the text. Okay, let's go back to shortcuts. We'll click on our three circles for more options. We'll add the home screen. And now we're all set. We have our shortcut on our home screen. Let's make another shortcut. This one will use Siri to summon the Speak Journal shortcut we just made, but it won't appear on the home screen. Let's click our Shortcuts app. We'll add a shortcut. Now the name that we give it will be what Siri listens for. I'll call it Journal Note. Okay, let's fix up our icon. I like to make the ones that don't have a bookmark on the home screen. I like to make those gray. Let's find a nice little glyph. How about an ear? Aha, there we go. Now to add an action, we'll go to our favorites list and grab run shortcut. Now let's tell it which shortcut. I'll just search for speak journal. There it is. Now let's just grab this stop shortcut. Now we don't want to run it from here because it'll just open the app. Let's close this out and run it from Siri. I'll hold down the side button to summon Siri. Journal note. Hi, this is my third journal entry. Wow! Exclamation point. And there it is. Right folder, right name, and there's the text. Let's close this one out. It'd be nice to have a shortcut that lets us see all of our entries. So let's make that one. We'll go to the app. We'll add a new shortcut. Let's call this one Show Journal. Let's fix up our glyph. How about this one? Now let's add our actions. We we'll go to the favorites folder. Let's do show notes folder. Let's tell it which folder. Now let's repeat that in case we were on a subfolder the last time we were looking at notes. Now let's stop. Okay, let's try it out. And there we have our three entries. Let's go ahead and make a shortcut on the uh, home page. I'll just truncate this to show. And there it is. It'd be great to have a way to search our journal. So let's make a shortcut for that. Let's go to our app. Let's add a shortcut. Let's call this one search journal. How about a question mark? Now, let's add our actions. First, let's ask for some input. So we're going to ask for text. 
and the prompt could be a search term. Okay, now let's create a node. Now this note will be the results of our search. Let's clear that out and then let's say my journal search results for and then let's select the provided input. Let's go ahead and put a space behind that and then let's make it unique by putting the current date and time clear out our dialog box. So let's uh, do the Twizzler and then specify the folder. And of course we want that in my journal search results. So we have asked for text, we create a note, we use the provided input as the name with the date stamp, and we put it in the my journal search results folder. So now we need to find what we're searching for. We'll use find notes. Now this is a little tricky because we want to find all notes. So let's clear this. There we go, it defaults to all notes. Now let's add a filter. Okay, let's start out with folders. We'll change this to folders. And then let's find what folder we want to look in. Now we want to look in my journal. Okay, now we add another filter and now we look for the body and that contains provided input. So we have this thing that's a search result that's called notes. So let's do an if statement because we have to cover the eventuality of nothing being found. If notes does not have any value, let's do something. Let's append something to our search results note. We'll drag this up here. Append notes. Let's clear that. And let's say append some text. We'll just type nothing found. Okay, and the note we want to append it to, it's not this one, that's the one that has the search results. We want to append it to the one we made at the beginning of this. There it is up top. Okay, so if notes does not have any value, we append nothing found to our search results note. Now let's show an alert. We got to drag it up inside the loop and then we need to put something in there that just says nothing found. Okay, let's quick this Twizzler and let's not show the cancel belt button. We don't need it. Okay, now what if we do find something? Let's go ahead and append our results. So again, we have to pull this up into the loop, right? Come on, right there. Okay, so we append notes, that's our search results, to our note folder. So let's go ahead, use the magic, find that folder. There we are. Okay, append our search results to note. Okay. Let's go ahead and show our results. And again, we have to drag that up. There we are. And the shortcuts app changes the note to appended notes right above it there. Now let's go ahead and stop. Okay, let's try it out. Let's search for journal. Takes it a second. There we go. It put the results in the My Journal Search Results folder and it named it 
journal with the date and time stamp. And there were three instances, which are our three notes that we made. Nice. Let's run that again. Let's look for something else. Let's try wow. Takes a second. And there we are, the one note that had wow in it. Now, one more time. Okay, let's try something that wasn't in any of those. Let's just try A, B, C. It's thinking, and there we go, nothing found. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and make the uh, bookmark on the home screen now. There we go. So let's look at our folders and see if we did get an entry that said nothing found. We did, there it is, nothing found. Apple recently introduced a feature called Quick Notes. It allows you to quickly enter a notes into the Quick Notes folder, which is pre-made inside of Notes. You can do this from your desktop or from your iPad, but unfortunately, at least as of now, there's no easy way to do it from your iPhone. So I made this little uh, shortcut that I keep in my dock that opens that Quick Notes folder. It's very simple. Let's build it real quick. We'll go to Shortcuts. We'll click to add a new shortcut. Let's just name this one Quick Notes. Here we are. Now let's choose uh, something that we like. Uh, I'm going to choose this blue since I'm going to put it in my dock eventually. And whatever icon you like. How about this little play button? Something like that. Okay, so let's add an action. We'll just go to our favorites and we'll say show notes folder. Then we'll click up here and we'll tell it quick notes right on the top there. Let's repeat that action just to make sure there's not a subfolder open. Let's go ahead and stop that shortcut. And we'll try it out. And there's my quick notes. So far so good. So all we need to do now is add it to our home screen. And there we have it. I hope you found this video useful, at least enjoyable and entertaining. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.